my own research interests are in applying techniques in molecular biology to understanding threats to endangered species. When I was 10 years old, I watched a television program about Louis Leakey, who was a famous paleoanthropologist who was digging uh, hominid fossils in Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. And I thought, wow, isn't this fabulous, you know, fossils, and, and he was out in the, near the Serengeti and all the wildlife. And so uh, I wrote a letter to Louis Leakey, and three months later he sent me a letter back and said he was delighted that I wanted to come work with him in Africa. And he thanked me for these drawings that I had made and sent to him. And that letter hangs above my desk here at the museum. I was one of those kids who grew up, you know, uh, playing in tidal pools and running through swamps looking for snakes and turtles. And the more that um, I observed them, um, the more I was fascinated by the natural world. Um, I was very excited to sort of study that and be a, become a biologist. But at that time, early in my career, I realized that the things I was most fascinated with were disappearing very rapidly all over the planet. The museum first started having molecular biology as part of their research programs more than 20 years ago. With all of the developments in molecular evolution and in genomics, the program has increased uh, very dramatically. We have three large laboratories and a frozen tissue collection and a computational facility. Sometimes when we're trying to study something about an endangered species, um, the added information that we get can be very important in uncovering illegal activities. One example was some work we were doing on an endangered species of parrot. And from the genetic markers that we identified, we were able to show that a very rare species of parrot was being smuggled from one Caribbean island to another Caribbean island um, where they were being laundered essentially as captive bred birds. Once we revealed this, naturally the people who were responsible for this were quite unhappy. Right here in the museum we have the same automated DNA sequencers that were used to map the human genome when that project was ongoing. And we now apply those same technologies to understanding the diversity of life here and we have scientists working on everything from microbes to whales. I've worked in just over 60 countries now, um, and so I feel very lucky to have had the opportunity to get quite a bit in the field. The most important element actually about being out in the field is actually working with people all over the world. Um, it is enormously rewarding to work with people who are so committed to their, the conserving their own natural resources and, and frequently have to struggle against poverty and other kinds of compelling issues and yet work so hard to help save wildlife and they're inspiring and that's one of the most important things about being out in the field.